Philippe, you've been looking at breast cancer and specifically regional lymph node irradiation. Can you tell me what it is that you've been doing? It's been reported before, but now you've got the latest publication out in the New England Journal. What's been happening? Well, we randomized more than 4,000 patients who had either involved axillary lymph nodes and or a medially located uh, tumor, medially in the breast, so at the inner side of the breast. They were randomized between local treatment to the breast alone, with or without irradiation of the internal memory and medial supraclavicular lymph nodes. We followed the patients for a long time. The medium follow-up is more than 10 years, 10.9 years. And we saw a clear decrease, not in the risk of local regional recurrences, there is somewhat, but in the risk for distant metastasis. And this decrease in the risk for distant metastasis of 3% at 10 years translates into a full 3% decrease in disease-free, uh, in, <coughs> I start there again. <coughs> This decrease in the distant metastasis rate translated fully into an improvement in disease-free survival, overall disease-free survival of 3% at 10 years. Up to now, it has been translated to, into a slight, significantly just, not significant, uh, improval in overall survival of 1.6%. What is it that this regional lymph node irradiation is doing to hold back the progress of breast cancer then? There is one very straightforward uh, explanation, and this is probably the right one, that the regional lymph nodes may harbor non-detectable, not clinically detectable, microscopical tumor deposits. And by eradicating them, with radiation therapy, you decrease the risk by for subsequent progression and distant metastasis. Mm -hmm. Now, why was it the same whether the patients had breast-conserving therapy or mastectomy? I think the most important is that the risk factors for distant metastasis are better before that for having cancer cells in the lymphatics. It's not the way you treat the breast. The risk factors has to do with tumor size, with location of the tumor within the breast, with whether or not systemic therapy was given, and so uh, the classical risk factors overall. You've been able to follow this for quite a long time. How much impact on overall survival could this be making? At the long term, I expect that the impact on overall survival will increase because at 10 years, there are 3% more patients living with distant metastasis compared to the group that was treated on the regional lymphatics. And already at 10 years, we had a benefit of 1.6%. So we expect that at 15 years, and we are starting already now to uh, with the first phase of the new analysis after 15 years of follow-up, we expect that the difference in overall survival will be greater than at 10 years. And why is it that these regional nodes are, are so important then, do you think, compared with irradiating other parts of the body and whole breast irradiation? Breast cancer is typically a disease that spreads depending on the type of breast cancer. It will uh, spread from breast to lymph nodes to distant places. The aggressive forms can spread immediately. You can have a small tumor with immediately a lot of distant metastasis, but part of them go via or through the lymph nodes. And those patients can be treated with local regional treatments alone. What are the clinical messages then coming out of this for doctors treating their patients with early breast cancer? The clinical message is primarily that for patients, especially those with involved lymph nodes, we should always consider the treatment of the regional lymphatics from the axilla up to the internal memory lymph nodes. This is irrespective of whether or not systemic therapy has been given, as shown in our trial, where even the benefit was larger in those patients who received chemotherapy and hormonal therapy. Now, are there any downsides, toxicities, cardiotoxicity, for example? It's an excellent question. In our study, we did not have any increased toxicity at 10 years on the level of the heart. We had a slight increase 
in uh, pulmonary toxicity. However, we also scored the toxicity in a cross-sectional manner and then we demonstrated that most of this toxicity is not permanent. A radiopneumonitis at nine months can completely disappear and thus in the majority of the cases. Mm -hmm. So the short message for cancer doctors in how best to use their radiotherapy would be what? To consider regional treatment, regional irradiation in patients with risk factors. Don't give it to all the patients. We have to properly select the patients who benefit most. For this, we will jointly with the other trials that one was jointly published with our paper, the other will come out uh, come out very soon in another important journal. We will do a meta-analysis to define those subgroups who benefit most. Thank you very much, Philippe. A pleasure, as usual.